Welcome to Scott Cooks. Today I'm going to be making you guys garlic mashed potatoes and we're going to air crisp a ribeye steak. We're going to do all that in the Ninja Foodie. Let's get started. First thing we want to do Got a cup and a half of water, put that right in the foodie. <clears throat> I will be using the basket tonight. So put your water in, drop in your basket. I've got about a pound of potatoes here, a couple of yellows that were left over, and the other ones here are russet. I'm just gonna cube those up a little bit, get them ready. I am leaving the skins on and that's fine right there right into the basket and that looks like plenty for my mashed potatoes just for the two of us that's plenty for me. If you want to add more, you know, you can go ahead and fill this thing up, but I would add a little more water if I did. You know, if I was going to fill this up with potatoes, I'd probably go with at least two cups of water. Go ahead and pop on your pressure lid. Uh, you might notice I did not season anything. Uh, not necessary. I'm going to be doing the seasoning at the end when I make the mashed potatoes. You could season them now if you want. Doesn't make much difference. Make sure you set your foodie to seal. Power up, pressure defaults to high, and we want 12 minutes and start. At the end of the 12 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick release, and then we'll go ahead and put the potatoes together and get the steak ready. This is the steak I'm gonna be using. It's thawed, I've just pulled it out of the refrigerator. You can see it's quite thick. About an inch thick, it's a really big steak one piece of bone right here and uh, we're gonna be using air crisp mode for that so all I've done is just set it out on the counter now right out of the fridge while my potatoes are cooking I'm just gonna get it uh, it's not gonna get completely to room temperature uh, but it'll get it get it started and because we're making garlic potatoes we'll go ahead and stay with the garlic theme got this garlic and sea salt mixture here I'm gonna both sides rub it in this is a grinder but you know whatever your favorite seasoning is for your steak just rub that down a little bit which i don't really like to do while i'm grinding so now i got it all over my hand okay <laughs> let me rinse my hand off before i do the other side all right back in business Fantastic. Don't need too much seasoning. Don't want to ruin a good steak. There you go. Let's finish up these potatoes. That was 12 minutes. Go ahead and release the pressure. Turn the foodie off. We can get ready. In a bowl, I got two tablespoons of real butter. One spoonful minced garlic. This needs to be refrigerated after you open it, guys. A little bit of my sea salt and garlic. We might add a little more in a minute. And we're also going to use some sour cream and some milk. 
That's really to taste, and you can even leave the sour cream out if you want. I like the flavor of it, so I'll be using a half a cup of sour cream, and the milk is just to taste and how creamy, that whatever texture you guys want for your mashed potatoes. Get the um, sour cream in there. I'm using a half a cup. This is a quarter of a cup measuring. A half a cup <laughs> in the dishwasher. So you know how that goes. All right, so there's a half a cup of that. And we're gonna hold off on the milk until after we get the potatoes in. That way we'll be able to see exactly how much we need. Um, so we'll go ahead and pop the top, the pressure lid off the foodie, get the basket out, and we're gonna dump the potatoes straight in. So just grab a couple pot holders for that. Give them a little shake. Get any water that might be there out. Straight in we go. Go ahead and leave your basket out to uh, prepare for the steak. Uh, we're gonna wanna drain the water out of the foodie, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I drained the water, put the basket back in, and I'm just gonna just lower the top with it off uh, just so that I can dry the basket out because I want the basket good and dry before I put the steak in because I'm going to spray the basket with some Pam first. So while we're waiting on the basket to dry up a little bit, just grab a spoon, whatever you got that's handy, and start in on these potatoes. I like to just break them up first. Then I'll start to see what kind of milk I need. I'm gonna go for a creamy, semi-creamy anyway. A few chunks is fine. Let's let that butter melt. Once you add this cold milk, the butter's gonna have a, tr a little trouble melting. So get that butter gone first. pretty good there and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in a little milk I'm not gonna measure it y'all that's probably a quarter of a cup um, I don't ever measure the milk when I make these I just stop when it looks right so right there we already got it it's almost creamy but I'm gonna go a little more than that And don't forget there's still some chunks. Oh, I missed the butter, darn it. Well, it's still pretty hot in there. It'll melt. There we go. And we're not just mashing here, guys. We're mixing all that garlic and seasoning up in there, too. That is pretty good. Maybe just a little more. And that'll do it. I'll put that back in the fridge. I'll just nice and slow combine that. So that leaves it semi creamy with a little few chunks in it. This is exactly the way I want it. Give it a quick taste. Yeah, that's pretty good. I want to get a little more salt in it though and, and a touch more garlic, so I'm just going to hit it with the grinder again. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to hit it with my, um, I'm going to hit it with my, because this has uh, black pepper in it and I haven't added any black pepper yet, so. Don't need much of the Himalayan mixture. Adds a ton of flavor fast. There we go. So that got everything in it I want. And that's potatoes. Quick and easy. Let's, let's make a steak. All right, this is gonna be pretty straightforward, y'all. We're gonna spray it with Pam.
drop our stake in. Close the lid. Power up. Air crisp. Crank it up to 400, which is the max time. I'm going to be flipping this. So I'm going to do uh, 14 minutes. And at 7 minutes, I'm going to flip it. Now, don't you really have to flip it, but I want to flip it. And uh, that's going to get me uh, somewhere around uh, medium rare. Um, and so we may cook it a little longer. Uh, we'll, we'll get our thermometer out and check the temperature. So in seven minutes, I'm going to flip this. That was 14 minutes. We're going to go ahead and do a temperature check. I'm going to use our handy dandy thermometer here. And I'll try to get the temperature on the screen for you. So what I'd like to see is um, between medium and medium rare. So I'd like to see about 150. That's the ideal for what we want to do here. So in we go. One ten, one fifteen. We got to get at least a one forty for rare, and we're not there, guys. We're one twenty and slowing down pretty quickly. So we're ten degree, uh, twenty degrees away from rare, and we're looking for medium. Uh, it's still climbing a little bit. So what that tells us is very simply to add a little more time. So let's go ahead and flip it again. And we'll throw it back on air crisp. Back on 400. And I'm going to add 10 more minutes. But we will be flipping it at 5 and checking the temperature as we go along. And this is how you would do it in the oven. This is how you do it on the stove. You keep checking your temperature until you get it the way you want it. And I'm not going to tell you guys how long to cook your steak. Some people want them at 140 rare. Some people want them at 170 well done. It's just a matter of time. That was another five minutes. Let's do a temperature check. Rising quickly, 120, 130, 140, that's rare, 145, that's medium rare, we're going to call it done guys, power off, thermometer off, and let me get this out and cut a piece and show you what's happening. Let's cut into this. Oh, very tender. Let me get you a shot here. Say so that's just about perfect. I'm sorry, the sun is shining through the window. There you go. And there you have it. Air crisp steak in the Ninja Foodie with garlic mashed potatoes. If you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel, leave me some comments, click that like button, and also click the bell for notifications. If you're looking for a way to help the channel out, check the description for the Patreon link. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.